learn to take the man seriously. If he tells you, I'm going to do this, he told us, we all waved him off. We said, well, old Roger should go and retire. Mm. But old Roger ain't hold no more, and he's doing it. That's what some people say. And we all agree, uh, Roger Federer is still in his prime and probably still got a uh, few more years mm. uh, to go. Yeah, um, rolling back the years. Uh, yeah. But 2,360 points and behind uh, Rafael Nadal. So it's a bit difficult mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. catching up with Rafa right now. But you never can say anything can happen. But he's saying, look, I can't overload my schedule right. more than because I've I'm done. Trying to, <laughs> because, yes, I've done. I'll just, I'll just do my that's best. That's not his target. The stage of his career, that's not his target. Yeah, nah, yeah. One yeah. One. That's it. So that's it for Roger Federer. Now let's go and talk about the action proper now at the Shanghai uh, Masters. And um, yeah, from um, what's his name again? Del Potro. Yes. One Martin Del Potro uh, is true to the next round, um, second round of the Shanghai Masters after defeating uh, Nicolas Bashilasvili in three sets. This one looked like it was going to be a shocker, but um, Del Potro, you know, showed ch champions and mentality to win in three sets. 6-2, 3-6, and 6-4 in just under two hours. I mean, the highlight of this game was the, the rally uh, with uh, Del Potro returned, uh, return of the balls in between his legs. Of, of, of unfortunately, he couldn't, get, he couldn't get that point, though, but it was interesting. Del Potro, I mean, I, I, I love Del Potro and what he does on the court. He's been an unfortunate guy with a lot of injuries. And the last thing he said before he came here is, look, I'm not the kind of person that will give excuses. Mm. Those things have happened. I'm still going to keep on playing. And, I mean, I do my heart, a lot of respect Absolutely. to Del Potro. Absolutely. And um, the, the big guys better, better watch out. So you have to watch out uh, for Del Potro because it, when he's on his game, yeah. uh, he can beat anybody. In this particular match, in the deciding set uh, against Bachelors Billy, he had to really uh, dig deep mm -hmm. by saving four uh, break points uh, to advance into our. Uh, so um, Del Potro will go on to play. Uh, a very, very tricky opponent in the next round. I'm talking about Andre. Uh, Rublev. That's a very, very tight one. And uh, we know Rublev, one of the next gens, and mm -hmm. um, he's very capable on his day as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when you're up there, you, you must be careful of those guys who want to, you know, just get to your position. Absolutely. And they use matches like this to, you know, games like this to, mm -hmm. to step up, to show the world that, look, I I'm can, here, yeah. you know. Uh, if it was probably somebody um, on their level, uh, they begin to get tired and fizzle out. But, but if it's somebody there, they refuse to... But, I mean, look at the guy that took Federer five sets. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was the last Grand Slam. I mean, any other person would just probably roll over. But uh, these guys, when they step up, so... And they raise the game. They just they raise it. And, and then, you know, it makes it um, increasingly difficult for those yeah. guys to just have a stroke. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. As uh, I think you're spot part. on. You're spot on, Yemi. I'm talking about raising your game. One player did exactly just that uh, yesterday. I'm talking about South Korea's Chong Hyun. He upsets world number 13, Roberto Bautista Agut, uh, for his best victory of his career. The upset's already rolling in mm -hmm. round one in Shanghai. And, um, yeah, Chong was the first person to set the ball rolling. I won that game. I won the match in two sets, I mean, straight sets uh, to mm. sec, uh, a second round match against uh, Richard Gasquet. Yeah, so, I, I want to see, have to yeah, watch out. I want to see more Asian players, you know, come. Uh, I have the guy from Japan, uh, the name skips me now, has done, done well, uh, Kei Nishikori, uh, Peter Chang, well, represented the U.S., so I wouldn't call it. But a, a lot of these guys, I think they're good at this game, and if they just put their mind to it. Uh, in Asia, you have a lot of other games that do take their attention. Mm -hmm. But I think they're a natural fit for tennis. Mm -hmm. They're athletic, they're strong. Uh, they'll be a good fit. And I hope this guy will not do another look as Russell on us. <laughs> you beat, a, beat a big guy. Stay right. on the scene. Don't fizzle out, mm -hmm. you know. When you do these things, I mean, he's already gotten our attention now. We're talking about him. Yes. I hope we get to continue to talk about him, not just give us a one-off, and we are wondering, where yeah, is he, where, where is he, he? where has he gone to? Right. Uh, I don't, we don't want all that. Yeah, we don't want all that, but we'll continue to monitor his progress. That's uh, John Hyun at the Shanghai Masters, and we'll see how far uh, he can go after defeating world number 13, uh, Roberto Batista. Uh, good. Let's move on to football now, yep. Amy. And, um, yup, it's yeah. back. I'm surprised, I, I, must, I must say. I, I'm, yeah. Uh, but then, you know, in, in where we come from uh, in Nigeria, they say that if you don't know where you're going to, at least you remember where you're coming from. Mm. And, and Bayern just looked at everything and, okay, in recent times, wh when have we been the most successful? And they Andre. remember that. 
And I remember that time. And I remember the manager who was in charge. <laughs> and they had to go back to him because as, as destiny will have it, he's probably the only guy in that bracket that is available mm. now. Mm. And he has a good relationship. That was uh, debatable. Okay, well. Yeah, I mean, there are, there's several. I, I, know, I wondered why Enrique didn't get this job. I, I, I mean, wondered you why. You just mentioned that name. I wondered so. why. So, but Mr. Enrique is available. But, but I think he has, he, he has the history. He's going to get on the ground running. Right. And, and that's why. He should study the ship, definitely. He should. Um, I mean, they're in a situation where they're, they're only trailing. Uh, trailing five points. Do, but a five lot points. Of games to play. Bayern don't want to hear that. His thought spell uh, at the club. Um, also, I think he also played for, for Bayern uh, in his playing day. So we'll see what happens. But I, I'm confident that the Bundesliga won't be a problem. Even if they didn't get high kids, it wasn't going to be a problem. Yeah. But now the, the UEFA Champions League, it will also steady ship. You know, what I'm trying to say, even if Willis and Hill was in charge, the Bundesliga wasn't going to be a problem. And that's why I agree with all the people that felt... Why uh, have they uh, sacked uh, Ancelotti. Ancelotti? But I think... For, we know there's more to, to yeah, it more than to it. Behind But for, for Europe, I think they're going to be more, uh, mm. more steady um, mm. as, 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 as they go along the line. So we'll, we'll see what happens in that. Uh, I think Ancelotti... I mean, I mean sorry, I think your point is... Yeah. You know, we we'll do a good job. Do a good job. Sure, yeah. Get them in a position that um, they, they need to be. They need to be, uh, which is on top. <laughs> which is on top of the Bundesliga. And I hope they will also... I mean, this team mm. needs, needs an upgrade. Yeah, that's going to be in the summer, definitely. But uh, your banking is saying, don't call it a comeback. I'm just doing it as a favor for uh, Huli Ones. And uh, don't expect me, to, don't expect me to, to stick around for too long. So that's it for um, Bayern Munich and your banking. Uh, we need to go on a break now. We'll come back. We'll be talking about the Nigerian Professional Football League. That's the Women's Football League and the Super 4, which kicked off yesterday.